هستم یک انتحاری شد و یک انفجار شد After touring the Afghan National Army bases and seeing their limited resources, we wanted to see how they operate during a foot patrol. <laughs> Journalists rarely get to embed with the ANA. So when they do, the ANA tries to make sure that nothing happens to them. If anything did, it would make them look incompetent, which is a word that many use to describe them. So naturally, they placed a lot of restrictions on where we could go, and they tried to avoid taking us anywhere near fighting. Finally, they agreed to let us touch ground outside of the military base for what they said was a routine foot patrol. We're following the path of a, of a foot patrol, and we're going to make our way through the villages they're saying that this place has been clear, they haven't found anything. There's been no sign of the enemy or the sign of the Taliban. And it's been pretty peaceful and quiet. I mean, it's not really a <laughs> Here you have the Afghan National Army, and then you have the Afghan National Police. But then there are the local police, who fall under the command of a local warlord known as Abdul Razak. <laughs> Not sure how quickly they'd be able to respond to an attack, as the smell of freshly smoked hash lingered in the air. So what's happening? He's saying that if anybody is coming here, they should let me know before that. Because Who's they? Who's saying this? Then we got to see yet another layer of security in Kandahar. Either a member of the local police or maybe just a local militia was not very happy to see us wandering around the bazaar. Things quickly turned into a power struggle about who controlled what. <laughs> As more responsibility falls on the police, communication between the two security forces become key. The next morning, the ANA promised to show us what a real patrol of Kandahar looked like. We couldn't help but notice that this time everyone had body armor. Well, it's about 6.20 a.m. and we're just starting on a foot patrol. We're walking to this other camp called Shekari, and then from there is actually where their foot patrol starts, where they'll go through the villages there. Mali, <laughs> 
روابط مهم و مهم ملکی بسیار بتوانه بسیار محبت دارن که اونها خاصه و دارن شاید موضوع که از دانشگاه که نوردی ملی تعلیم افتادن است دست نخوانده با خطر آزار بازی مردم است نه بسیار محبت با اون خالجون بسیار درم با خالجون که نوبه ما که نوردی ملی مادر خدمت شده و اتاق زمین دارن این خدمت گر مردم است تلفن من آدرس خاصن پول مردم رو می‌بینی به زندگی عادی خود دوام می‌تونه دو کلاهشون رو بیشتر فضل خدا رو می‌سنجی کرد. I think that most people are used to it now. The local, your dear local police is coming again. بازار روز اینا رو می‌کاره گاز می‌گذارم. پیش از این آمریکایی بود، ما بودیم اما یه اردی ملی بود. با تقریباً شش ماه میشه که ما پیش از این با پلیس مالی تاستیم. شش ماه. نمی مانند که آدمی نوبلات دختره داخل شه، زمانی که خبر میشه نیو با مردم هم وصل ندی که دید مردم حالی به خبرش نیرن بیاد. So now everyone you see here is from the LP. The national police and the local police are now in control of all the checkpoints and the security in the cities and villages. The local police or the LP are officers appointed from the villages. They are patrolling and can choose to wear local clothing, kind of like a community watch. I don't know, I think it's just funny because those guys are just kind of walking ahead and these guys are like, you know, staying in protocol, checking for everything. The police work very closely with the with the ANA. They deliver reports to them, and then ANA analyzes this. So they're always in contact. I mean, the military does support the police here. Careful when you're walking down the street here. There's a lot of mines. So he's like, make sure you step foot on where you've seen like footsteps before. But I, like, it's everywhere now. We have our D miners in the front. There's only two guys with the metal detectors who try to see if they can find mines on the way and then each of them have a person who would guard them and make sure that while they're checking the ground and looking down they have someone that is looking out for them. But I mean I could and I don't check in Conan that is you know kid Max was a mini you know for a Max was a she's a fella is here. While doing their patrols, the ANA and the police forces must honor the local custom of asking for the women to leave before they enter any home. Traditionally, if the women of a house mix with strangers, they can be put to death. زمانی که یاد این خانه داخل بیشن اما سیاسر های زنان که سوار کاری را یک خانه یک طرف میکنن بعد دو بار دیگه بیاییم با دیگه دو خانه دو دو خانه بست دوره شای نست خیلی نه پنج سال پیش اینجا که وقتی که گفته بودن طالبا همه اینجا بودن مردم چیکار میکردن؟ مردم نمیتونست که با آقای خود برای سهی کار بکنه آره مردم آزادانه کار خود میکنن در باغ خود در زمین خود این تفلکا رو میبینی کنه اینجا میگرن کشم حال مردم بسیار خوش است از این وضعیت کسی خودش آن امنیت شانو میگیره کلا مشکلی نداره کلینیک باید جور شوه میگه مکتب برای ما جور شوه مردم طرفداری نمیگه پس خب چرا جور نمیشه؟ خود این حال دولت جور نکده تا بال رو برشان کشم اینه تاس یو کارو کیخه دقیق خلق طول نخونه ایکی 
Dua peixinhas do que? E é o peixinhas de clínica. Mas aí tu arquei, já estou aqui todo, e eu de Mactab. Não é assim? Mas eu estou aqui, que ele dizia que o Mactab dá, e você... Que dá a parada, né? Tá só... E aí, e eu vou arquear, não é assim? Que o mundo fala para a clínica, ou para o Mactab, que é o outro. Da tua fala, e eu penso que está aqui, já estou aqui. Eu mean, the Taliban used to live here, they used to go over this area. And, obviously, in this past five years, They've left, and the villagers who we saw along the way, who've been living here for years, like 20 years, 50 years, 70 years, have their own homes back again. Random searches by the army have become part of everyday life in Kandahar, if not Afghanistan in general. But the army insists the war is winding down and they are retiring to their bases, leaving day-to-day -day security in the hands of the Afghan National Police, who we would soon meet. Hello.